Hi, here's Renee, and I'm going to give you a quick demo for GitHub's Copilot, which is an amazing plugin currently for Visual Studio Code that is basically providing AI augmented development capabilities. So it's not just uh, like a pair programming or a kind of an autocomplete model that helps you just a little bit, but it's in fact trained on the vast large code repository that GitHub hosts, right? And of course, it supports various languages like JavaScript, Python, C Sharp, what have you. And under the hood, it's actually using OpenAI's um, GPT-3 or actually a variation of GPT-3, which was trained on all the, the code, right? All the, the programming languages and the code that is available. And before I talk too much, actually, let's switch to Visual Studio Code and I'm going to give you a quick live demo here. So what you see here is a Python code snippet for some deep learning stuff I was working on for transfer learning, but that doesn't matter so much. So now I actually want to compute the distance between two points on Earth, like, you know, what sometimes you would need it. And so let's actually write the method definition or the function definition here. And you already see that it provides some suggestions here from GitHub Copilot. Um, but we actually want to have between two points on Earth. Look at this. It always it already suggests the completion of the function and also the method parameters, which is crazy. And look at this, now it already suggests to me the function body, the implementation, right? And I just do a tap and boom, I have my code here, which is uh, converting from latitude to longitude um, uh, into, um, well, first of all, let me explain the code real quick uh, to double check if it actually did the right thing. So what is it doing? Uh, it's first of all converting from degrees to radians, what we need to deal with. And uh, then we're doing a conversion since latitude and longitude, you know, are on the, the spherical earth, if you will, right? The curvature of the earth. The earth is not flat, folks. <laughs> it's a, it has a spherical. And so you have these spherical coordinates. And if you want to compute the distance, right, from the sphere, you need to convert these into Cartesian coordinates, which is basically this formula you can see here. And well, it's returning the distance. So this code is perfect. Like this is exactly what I had in mind. It's crazy, actually. All right, let's, let's try something else. And we can also just write a code comment and it would um, basically then provide me the method implementation. So we can try that out here of each file in, oops, I wrote it wrong. Each file in a folder, print the file name of each file in the folder. Let's see what it does. All right, just give it a few seconds. There we go. It suggests me a, a good method um, definition or function definition. And boom, look at this, the implementation already there, the method body perfect like it does exactly that it, it you know prints all file names from the path it's exactly what i had in mind this is just ridiculous how good it actually is Ooh, we're getting unemployed programmers uh well actually not uh, <laughs> like of course there's still much more complexity to to programming and software development than just completing a little bit of code here right uh but it helps you that you don't have to search on stack overflow all the time maybe right Anyhow, let me show you something else. So you see the code here that was manually written by me, actually. Uh, train image generation. So I'm basically using the result of a function and assign it to a variable, right? So I need it two times because I need training and testing images for validating the, the learning of my model here. But let me remove that code because, as you can see, there's a perfect uh, code snippet here, a perfect code comment. So you can see the little code comment here that is already up there. So let's see what kind of code would it generate based on the code comment. And well, look at this. Let me do it like this. Oh, wow. This is, wow, this is exactly the code I had here before, right? And keep in mind, it didn't know I had the code there before. It suggested the code you can see here uh, based on the code comment that, that was here, right? And it generated basically the same code. It's almost the same. It's just the variable names are a little bit differently, but exactly the same uh, what I needed here. And this is just, oops, sorry. This is just amazing and uh, really mind blowing. Like I said, like, look at this. This is the original code that, I, that was manually written. And then this was the auto, uh, completed one or not autocomplete, but the AI uh, generated code. Well, well, uh, pretty amazing. I have to say, uh, GitHub Copilot, definitely something you should try out. Uh, just go here, sign up. And if you're lucky enough, you get access to it. It's a limited access at the moment, but super impressive. And I can't wait to use it more in production because it's already seems to be very useful uh, for creating and helping you to create maybe better and faster. And so that's all what we want, right? Having more time to think about the really complex things.
All right. Thank you, folks. Uh, thanks for watching. And uh, I hope you have a great time, everyone. And uh, see you soon. And uh, well, what can I say then? Bye bye, I guess. Huh? So see you soon. Bye bye.